Hello, thanks for joining me. Hi there, welcome. Thank you for hearting. Thank you for sharing with your friends and inviting followers. I appreciate you. Um, anyone that you know that can benefit from transforming their services into digital and physical products, now's a great time to hop on. Thank you, thank you, appreciate you. Let me first introduce myself before we get into the topic of what is a product funnel and why you need one right now. Thank you so much, Wendy, you're awesome. I appreciate you. So I am Sarah Aderson of expandyourheart.org and what I do is I empower purposeful entrepreneurs to transform their services into digital and physical products. Okay, thank you. Hi, Marilyn, welcome. All right, so I want to talk about, thank you, lots of people, great, welcome, welcome, come on in, appreciate the hearts, appreciate your shares. So I want to talk about why you need a product funnel and what it is, Arkansas, great, I'm in Georgia, and what it is and what's included and just, you know, really just um, kind of like product funnel 101 so that we can talk about it and get some discussion going here. So a product funnel, <laughs> great, <laughs> got some people at the same place, that's awesome. So a product funnel is basically, um, it starts with, it's a relationship, right? So just like your services, when someone walks into your physical location or calls you on the phone, you may have a discovery session. As far as a product funnel, we have an introductory product and then we go through the stages, okay? So for example, if you're a coach, then like I said, in your regular funnel, you may have an introductory or a discovery session. Right, And so for a product funnel, we consider it to be your irresistible offer. And so that's the first thing that you're offering your potential clients and customers as a product, okay? And a product can be an ebook, it can be a download, it can be um, a free sample of your art, right? Because Marilyn, I know you're a great artist. Um, it can be uh, an audio, it can be a video. Thank you guys for joining and sharing and hearting. I appreciate you guys. So that's what a product can be, okay? It's basically, a product is your wisdom packaged into digital or physical form, all right? So you're familiar with audio and video. Of course, there are physical books, coloring books. There are so many, you can, do, some people do still listen to CDs. You can print those out for them as well. So, so many things that you can do. But you need a product funnel because you, everybody does, right? <laughs> you need it because you're limited, right? <laughs> Old school, it's okay, you're here to learn. I appreciate that. Love for life, thank you for joining. And so everyone, every entrepreneur, no matter what you do, needs a product funnel because that is the true way to stop trading time for dollars. You're limited in what you can do and we're all limited in what we can do and how long we have to do it, right? We have the same 24 hours in a day. But products allow you to work once and profit forever, okay? And we love that. And especially when you can repurpose your products. So you can use the same product, but package it a different way. And I'll do another scope about that later. But I really wanna focus today on the product funnel. And so with that product funnel, you need first that introductory product, okay? And so something that solves a problem for your ideal client or customer, and you package it into really simple, easy to digest information. It doesn't have to be, when I say ebook, that doesn't mean you have to knock out 200 pages. An ebook is like five pages. An ebook can be two pages. Whatever length works for you, okay, that's what an ebook can be considered. Like a giveaway or promotion or like a low price guarantee. Would that be a product funnel? Um, tell me more. So like giveaway, what would it look like? Is it, a, is it a video? Is it an audio? Something like that? So that would be part of your product. That would be your initial step would be to get an irresistible offer, something that your clients, your customers need right now to solve a problem. So for me, my introductory product is, if you go to my website actually right now, you can get a free video training on how to create your own online course within two hours. So that's because that's a common problem that people face, right? <laughs> so many people want to launch an online course 
but they get stuck in the, you know, the, the rigmarole and all that stuff and in their heads. So I have that because that's a real need and solves a real problem. And of course, the time factor is always key. So in your product funnel, your first offer needs to solve a very real giveaway, a free candle warmer, wax tart or soap. Okay, awesome. It could be. Um, ideally, and that's more like a sample or something like that. That works. Homemade bookmarks. Oh yeah, great. Yes, homemade bookmarks are a great initial product to give away. Yeah, good. And so what you want to do is again, lead them. A product funnel is all about building a relationship, right? So I don't really talk to you about sales, sales, sales. I talk to you about serving and I talk to you about building relationships. I call it a relationship highway versus really a sales funnel, but that's my terminology. And so, right, someone said a bookmark, the candles, the wax, exactly. So those are great free products, <clears throat> excuse me, to offer and what you want to do is then what is the next step that you want your client or customer to take hi crystal thanks for joining so if you're a coach and like i said you have that discovery session that may be your first thing but you want to offer an ebook that solves a problem or a video then what's the next step that you would want your client to take and so that could be um helping them to lose weight, maybe you're a weight coach or something like that. So then you may want to add a little more into it, but it's all about moving them along. And so your introductory irresistible offer is free, typically just to get them familiar with you, to start building that relationship. It's kind of like the first date. And then you want to get them to take to go on the second date. You want them to call you back. And so that's where the next product comes in. And so that is going to be more like a DIY along that term where that they can do it themselves, but most people are still going to call you or ask for your help because they don't want to do it themselves. Um, at least, <laughs> you know, or they're going to find, they're going to hit a roadblock or something like that's going to come up. So don't be afraid of sharing your information and packaging your wisdom into products. Okay. Um, and some people already have products. So that bookmark is great. <clears throat> and so the next step may be if you're an author, you want them to buy your book, right? So then go ahead. That next product needs to be um, not really expensive, right? <laughs> Again, it's like it's that second date and this time you want them to pay for it instead of you paying. So it maybe it's like a lunch date, okay? So you want it to be a no-brainer, something where they don't have to ask their husband or ask their wife or whatever it is. It needs to be simple. Um, you know, pricing is all about how with products, you can play around with them. You can offer something for $7 and you can go as high as thousands of dollars. But for your second offer, I would recommend keeping it low. $7 is a great, you know, warm up lunch date, <laughs> right? It's, it's not expensive. Um, and it gives them a taste of you. You also try to write poems and short stories. Okay, great. <clears throat> and so your first book was $10. Your next one will be eight, but it's more pages. And, you know, again, with books, it doesn't really have to be about pages. You know, quality is the key here. And so what you want to do, again, if you're an author, which I see we have a couple in here, you want to seed. If your book, even if it's not a series, you still want to make sure that you lead them to the next one and the next one and the next one. So if you have a bookmark that you offer as a free gift or you have a free chapter that you offer as your irresistible offer, then next you want to get them to purchase that book. You want them to uh, purchase a course or a mini course. Okay, or it can just be resources, your information. But a product funnel is all about packaging your wisdom into a digital or physical form. So periscoping can be key for your funnel since it could help build relationships. Absolutely. Periscopes can actually be turned into products as well, Wendy. <laughs> right? So you can do some editing and you can easily do a series of scopes and turn that into a course, a how-to training, which will 
keep following me if you're not and I'll show you some more about how to do that but absolutely everything can be turned into a product of digital or physical form so you have your introductory offer it's free your irresistible offer and then the next step like I said is to do that low cost low barrier to entry no-brainer offer okay and so that's where it's more DIY they have to do it for themselves or maybe it's information that they need so if you're a graphic artist maybe um, you can offer some resources for people oh thank you I love you too Wendy <laughs> I appreciate you and then you're you're purple today which is my favorite color um, and so the next one make it really like I said, $7 is just like a magic number <laughs> and it could be a resource. And so um, if you're a graphic artist, maybe you want to give people a an ebook or a quick resource where they can find royalty free graphics or something like that. Um, Marilyn is an artist, so maybe her free gift um, could be uh, a, one of her photos or pictures or something like that. And then the next step could be um, and how a how to guide to use or, or a resource for certain paints and oils or brushes or something like that right so they people would pay for that because you're saving them time from googling and you know the internet is great but there's just so much information so going to you and paying yeah her painting scopes are great <laughs> and so by going you're saving them time you're giving them resources they know like and trust you and that's what it's all about your product funnel any funnel is all about building relationships like you said and about getting them to take the next step so there has to be an energy exchange and as entrepreneurs our energy exchange is money <laughs> okay so let's be very clear as you're putting out great content and great material and great information, there is an expected energy exchange that must happen from the other party. One of the things you do is ask people when they bought one of your book. One thing I tried to do is ask people when they bought one of my bookmarks, one dollar. Okay. So you you ask them to purchase your bookmark. Okay. And so that's really a no brainer, right? You can definitely do that. <clears throat> And so maybe your free gift could be one of your chapters and then your no brainer um, next offer could be a dollar. I would bump it up <laughs> just so you know, you cover your expenses for printing and things like that. Um, and maybe even put a note card section, you know, a note part on the back of it so that they could write if they wanted to some key thoughts, just make it or make it a magnet, you know, yeah, <laughs> tons of ideas. I could go a lot of places with that. Um, and so I would bump it up though in the price. <clears throat> yeah, I know it's a bookmark, but if you add value to that so that they can, like I said, have multiple, oh, excuse me, <clears throat> sorry here, the, the weather changes are affecting me, <clears throat> sorry, we'll go towards, a, okay, that's great, and so even more reason, you know, it's, it's um, a great cause, it's a charitable donation as well for them, so and you know all of it doesn't have to go to Alzheimer's although it absolutely can but you have to know that you're you deserve to be rewarded and have that energy exchange of money given to you so you can do two dollars you could do three dollars and then <clears throat> split it up however you want to for your charitable donations whatever's good for you okay but make sure that you are moving people to the next step do not assume that they're just gonna go look at your other book they're not <laughs> you have to have to show them so I call it seeds you're planting seeds so if that free chapter is one part you have it in there you want to make sure that at the end of every product or somewhere in there that you're telling them about the next place that you want them to go okay so if like I said you're um, your irresistible offer is a free training or a free video or something like that then you want to tell them what else you can do for them do you have a guide that they can print out for just seven dollars and get all this access or learn how to's or do they or for um, like artists or Marilyn like you were talking about her how-to videos people would definitely pay great money for those how-to videos to be able to pause it, rewind it, and do all of that to follow along with her. That would be a great next step. And, you know, it costs her nothing, really, because she's done the work one time and now she can package it up any kind of way, okay? 
And so the so your first offer is free. <clears throat> your next offer is really, really low cost, low barrier to entry. And then you want to have another product that now moves them again, building the relationship with you and with your services and your products so that they continue to move all along the line. With your products, you can also include seeds of working with you, your services. So if you're a coach, I work with a lot of life coaches, right? So if you have, <clears throat> excuse me, a quick how-to guide, you want to include in there that phrases like, you know, when I'm working with my clients or in my, <clears throat> excuse me again, in my XYZ program, we cover this in great detail. You're not pitching to them, but you're just planting that seed of, I have this program, there's a link that they can click on if they're interested. But you want to, again, build the relationship <clears throat> incorporated into every product that you're offering and just keep it really laser focused. You have to know where you want them to go. So before you start creating your product funnel, you want to go ahead and think, with the end in mind. What is your end result? Do you want them to purchase your book? Do you want them to purchase all of your books? Do you want them to ultimately hire you for your services? And so whatever it is, do you want them to enter your, your high dollar program or signature program? So think about what that is <clears throat> before you start working on your product funnel. And it should all, you know, be like a breadcrumb trail and lead them to where you want them to go. <clears throat> okay. So again, everyone needs a product funnel and it's simply packaging your wisdom into digital and physical products. <clears throat> okay. Oh, sorry. I'm losing my voice here. So I think I'm going to wrap it up. Does anyone have any questions for me? <clears throat> You guys have any questions about product funnel? <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> so I've been talking a lot today. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Sorry. Sorry. So I am going to wrap this one up because my voice is going. Um, oh, you like the angel cards? Thank you. <clears throat> thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, that was. Um, a labor of love. Never in the million years did I think that I would create angel cards, but I was guided to do so and it was just the best project ever. <laughs> so I appreciate that. Okay, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to get some tea because um, apparently I've been talking too much today. <laughs> All right, thank you guys. But if you <clears throat> want more information, be sure to follow me if you're not and then check out expandyourheart.org and I will be back as soon as my voice is up and running again. You guys have a fantastic day. Love you. Take care.